What is going on guys and today I'm bringing you a brand new video and today we are going to be sniping a ton of players and trying to make a ton of coins for you guys so make sure to drop a like down below of course if you're new around here make sure to subscribe if you haven't already make sure to enter the giveaway I'll be doing for 12,000 FIFA points it ends at the end of November so you've got a while to enter and it's 12,000 FIFA points all you got to do is follow me here on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter and Instagram and then DM me proof and you'll be entered in but without further ado guys let's get into it. Okay guys, so today we're actually gonna be looking at some of the team of the weeks that were dropped on Wednesday. We've got quite a sort of, if I'm honest, it's probably the worst team of the week we've had in a very, very long time. But that means we can make a ton of profit by sniping some of these players because people are automatically assuming Oh, that one goes for nothing. Oh, you know, I'll, I'll list him up for a little bit more to make sure he sells, which is always the mindset of a lot of people, which gives us the opportunity to make a ton of coins. So Luis Alberto starting off 86 inform. Now, to be honest, probably not a bad shout for an investment. I mean, realistically, if you're picking him up at 20K in about, let's say a month maybe, after an Icon SPC drops or a high rated SPC which needs an inform, he'll probably go for 25 to 30,000 coins. So there's definitely a lot of room for improvement on a lot of these players. I mean, we've got Alberto, we've got Guerrero, and we've got Lopez who we're looking at today. And all three of these are E6 and 85s who actually go for a lot less than they should. I mean, we're sniping quite late guys, so we might not find too many cards, but the aim is to get one of each at minimum and hopefully show you guys how much profit there is to be made on these informed cards. I'm just gonna see if anything's been listed under 20K. Obviously with the EA tax the way it is, we need to snipe at 19 or below. Uh, realistically for profit, we need 18,750. So we're just gonna see if we can get one of these on compare price. I do always prefer compare price, especially for the informed filters. I don't know why, I just always feel like compare price is a little bit faster, which actually makes no sense because there supposedly is no difference in the way uh, that it is done, but it's a superstition sort of thing. I do believe that it is a better way of sniping. We're gonna see, I mean, we're getting some 19s coming up. We've got the 19,750, we've got the 19. Can someone just undercut that little price a little bit more and give us a 18,750 and we will be happy. Obviously 19 without EA tax would be a very nice profit, but with the way EA like to finesse us, we're not gonna get that. So we're just gonna hope that someone lists maybe an 18,750 or an 18. You can see that even though this 19 is the cheapest on the market by a thousand coins, it's not going quickly, which means hopefully we won't get out sniped for the 18,750. Obviously guys, we are late night sniping again. I'm doing this because I won't have time to prepare for the video tomorrow. So I'm getting the video sort of made today and putting it up. So I'm making it on Thursday, I'm putting it up on Friday, uh, but that does mean that obviously uh, it is a bit of late night sniping right now. We've got 17K, brilliant, there you go. That's a very good first snipe, something we cannot complain about. We're gonna go for about three and a half minutes on each player, but we've done about three on him, and to be honest, the result is pretty nice. I'm very happy with that. So after EA tax, the profit on that one there is going to be 2,000 coins. So you know what, absolute, I, definitely not the best banger we can get, but we're getting there. I'm very happy with that profit. Not gonna complain about that one at all. We're gonna see if we can get one more. I'll give it the 30 seconds he deserves, and then we'll move on to the next one. But very good start. First in from there, nice 2K profit. I think realistically, if you do this during rewards, or if you do this during any time that there's some packs that have just been released that are on like an hour limit, you guys are gonna nab some ridiculous snipes. So I'm just showing you guys right now the players to be doing that with, and then it's all up to you guys on the times you snipe. So we're gonna go for Guerrero next. He's got a left back card, which is I think quite odd for him. I believe he's usually a winger, uh, as far as my knowledge goes. Uh, I think he is going for around the same price as the first one. Um, so we've got Alberto and Guerrero here at around 20K. I think Guerrero's cheapest is 19 at the minute. Let's have a look if we've got anything underneath that. 18,750. So EA tax on 19, uh, obviously 10% is 1.9, you're half that. You're looking at 950 coins, which once again would bring us down to here. We can make a 15 coin popular. I can't even speak. We can make a 15 coin profit if we snipe them at 18K. So obviously you wanna go down to 17, 750 as the minimum. We're gonna do a bit of compare price and a bit of normal sniping. We got 13, oh. We fumbled the bag. The only way I can describe that is fumbling the bag. That was a very, very good snipe that we've missed there. Obviously pretty much the minimum he's gonna go for. 
a bit of a shame, but we've still got like another three minutes on this guy to try and make up for it. We're gonna have a look if it's worth even doing some compare price on him. Kind of gutted about that one there because it was, ah, oh, someone's finessed the compare price. So we probably won't be able to, oh, there, there, that's gone. So we'll just do compare price here at 19K. See if we can get anything here and we'll go back to normal sniping. We are aiming for, uh, I think we need 17,750 as the minimum uh, to snipe. And then obviously anything under would be brilliant. We've got 18, 19. We're gonna go back onto the regular sniping. For some reason, I have a feeling that that is gonna be better with this guy. It's an absolute shame that we missed that first one. I'm a bit heartbroken over that. We could have probably just moved on to the next player, maybe even fit in a fourth for the video. But alas, we will uh, we will take the L. We will take the L and hopefully we get a better snipe. I'm kind of guided. We're not, we're not gonna get a better one. We can try and equal it or maybe get something close because that was a, uh, someone's fumbled that. I reckon someone's meant to put that up for maybe 23K or like put it up for a range and they've just absolutely fluffed it. A 17,500, 550 coin profit. We'll take it. It's not quite 5K, but we will definitely take the profit. We're not gonna complain. We are gonna complain. I, you know what, I'm lying. I'm gonna complain. That's, I've, I've been thrown by that first snipe that we've missed, but we've still got a, probably like another minute on this guy, hopefully, that means we can make, I mean, we're not gonna make that snipe, but maybe, maybe we can get one close. I am, I am very disappointed. We missed it. I think, I don't know if that was me sniping slow or someone else sniping fast. I'm just gonna have to look back at the footage before I cry over this too much. Um, I guess you win some, you lose some guys. We've managed to get one of each player so far. I don't wanna speak too soon, so sort of touch wood uh, before we get onto the final player but it does look like we're gonna be almost done with Guerrero. I'm gonna give it the last 10 seconds. If the EA gods could just bless me with a, a 10K on the market that no one else snipes, would be ideal. But for some reason, I don't really see it happening in five, four, three, two, and okay. We're gonna move on to the final player of the video who I believe is usually an 80. Oh, Pal Lopez, I have Well, I don't actually know which one it is. It's not Pal. I don't think it's Pal. I'm just having a look at the team of the week in front of me. I think it's Anthony Lopez. Uh, there you go, it is Anthony Lopez. He is going for 15,000 coins, so we're actually dropping down a little bit in the price range. We've got 14,750 there. We need to check how much he's actually going for before we pick that up. It looks like he's actually, that was a snipe, I'm livid. That was a snipe, oh, I'm livid, I'm so livid. He's going for about, I mean, realistically, if there's some up at that price, 16,750, he's going for about 17K. So we've missed another snipe there, but as I always say, guys, you don't wanna be picking up cards when you don't know what the price is. So 10% of 1,700, uh, it's gonna come out at 850 coins. So once again, knocking it down to 16K and hopefully 15,500. Bang up, right, straight away we've got a good snipe on him. So I'm hoping that means we can actually get maybe one or two. It does seem like people are min listing him or miss listing him quite often. So that's that's hopeful. That's a that's almost gonna make up. If we can get like two or three, that'll make up for the missing, like the 14 one that we did miss out on. I'm kind of gutted that I didn't just think about firming the loss on that one, because it was 14,750. We would have maybe lost like 500 coins if we sold them at 15K. Up, you know what, I've just got to take the L guys, I've got to take the L. 1,600, 1,600, 16,000 coins there again. So it does seem like this guy is coming up a little bit more often than we thought for the other players, which is definitely not something I'm complaining about at all. <coughs> Pardon guys, obviously no Rona, just hay fever. <coughs> and again, apparently, um, we're gonna see if we can get him for under 1,500. We wanna try and get a bang up for the last snipe. We've got about a minute left on the video. Can we get 15K? Yes, we can. Okay, we could get another one. We could get another banger. This guy is being mislisted consistently, which is what we absolutely love to see in FIFA. So let's have a look. We've probably made like four or five K of him uh, already, or like maybe three or four to be fair, but three or four K in the space of time we've been doing is ridiculous. So you guys, this might be the one, this might be the banger of the of the vid. Obviously, the, the few that we have seen, if we'd have picked up all of them, we'd be looking at about a 10K profit. Obviously missing the 14 did stiff me a little bit. We've got 15 again, and no one is going for it. This really is a banger. This actually is a very, very decent footwear. And what you've got to think, guys, is in a couple weeks, 
when a, a big SBC does come out, these are going to be going for a ridiculous amount, like absolute, like no doubt about it. These are going to be going for a ton, guys. So you really do want to get in on this if you're investing. You want to get in on this if you're sniping, because this guy is a gold mine. We're going to go for one more. The next one that comes up, if we miss it, we miss it. If we don't, bang her into the video. So we'd be very happy with that. But it does look like Antonio Lopez is going to be our, our man of the match, our star of the video. He's done this very well. Couple snipes there in a very short amount of time, 15,750. So we've got a few there at 15,750 being listed. So maybe people have been mislisting him and underlisting him, but that's fine because we're going to profit off it either way. So we're going to knock it down to 15 just after seeing that. All I'd say, guys, is because it's late at night, players do go up and down in price a lot. All it's going to mean is he'll probably sell on in the morning. So no stress on my behalf for that. I'm quite happy knowing that he is realistically going to stay at that price and get us a very decent profit. Can we get one more for the finale? Five, four, three, two. And we're going to have to call it a day there, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like down below if you have. Of course, make sure to subscribe if you are new around here and enter the giveaway. The support recently has been amazing, so I do appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.